Welcome to the hitching and braking section of the OP4 digital handover. Every Opus comes standard with a lock and roll hitch designed for convenient and safe off-road towing. Following these steps will help you hitch up and hit the road quickly. To safely tow the OP4, your tow vehicle must have a two inch hitch receiver tube, seven pin connection, and electric brake controller. Beginning with the Opus lock and roll hitch. This is a two part hitch with a vehicle side and a trailer side part. Start by properly connecting the vehicle side of the hitch to your tow vehicle receiver. For optimal towing, the lock and roll hitch provides a two inch drop or a two inch lift. This can easily be adjusted to fit the needs of your tow vehicle. After adjusting your hitch to the appropriate drop or rise height configuration, insert the hitch into the receiving tube of the tow vehicle. Using the appropriate size securing pin, lock the tow vehicle's receiving tube to the vehicle side of the hitch. The second part of the lock and roll is the trailer side hitch. It comes already installed on your OP4 and has distinct pin arms used for securing both hitch sides together. Begin by reversing your tow vehicle to your Opus. And using the tongue jack, position the height of the tongue level with your tow vehicle. To connect the hitch to your tow vehicle, place the trailer side pin arms in the receiving section on the vehicle side of the hitch. Fit the hook arms over the side pin arms. You might need to make slight adjustments to the position of the tongue jack at this time. Fit a securing pin through the holes in the hook arms. Fit the locking pin on the securing pin to fully lock the coupling in place. Next. Your OP4 comes with two heavy-duty safety chains on the tongue. One end of the chain is fitted to the Opus chassis. The other end has an attachment clip, which should be attached securely to your tow vehicle bumper or receiver. To attach the safety chains, begin by crossing the chains underneath the tongue and the clips on the hooks are in place to fully secure the hooks. Always check that you've installed the chains with the appropriate amount of slack to turn your vehicle adequately. Should you require less slack, the chains can be twisted or crossed below the tongue before connecting to your vehicle to ensure the chains do not drag on the ground. After your hitch, safety chains, and coupling are secure, ensure your breakaway cable is connected to the tow vehicle before disengaging the handbrake. Crank the tongue jack up and secure it into the travel position of your Opus. The Opus is fitted with a 7-pin flat plug on the tongue. And to activate the trailer brakes, your tow vehicle must have a 7-pin connection installed. This connects all the exterior trailer brake lights, turn signals, and electric brake to the tow vehicle. You're required to have an electric brake controller installed in your tow vehicle to tow the Opus. Please follow the manufacturer's instructions to properly calibrate your electric brake settings. You can tell if your brakes are working properly by starting the engine of the tow vehicle and having someone listen to the brake hub while another person applies the brakes in the tow vehicle. If they are working correctly, you will hear a low humming sound as the brakes are applied. Before traveling with your Opus, we recommend checking the wheels to ensure the lug nut torque requirement of 100 foot-pounds is met. After your first 50 miles, and then again after the first 500 miles, check the suspension bolts, wheel nuts, and hitch bolts to ensure that they have maintained their tightness. This should be completed with a torque wrench to 100 foot-pounds. When tightening wheel nut lugs, please tighten bolts in a star pattern order as shown. 
Following this pattern will prevent over-tightening or under-securing your wheels.